Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing, keep doing what you guys do. We really do appreciate and I really hope you guys are okay and may you stay blessed. Uh, find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out if there's anything you want me to react to let me know by giving me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out so today i'm going to be reacting to laugh about islam cry later with joshua evans a uh, big shout out to the person that suggested this i really appreciate your suggestion so without wasting time let's get into the video when you seek to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah gives you the dignity of people, that's a type of dignity that can't be taken away from you. And that's a respect. Me and the brother that brought me here were talking about on the way over here, is that when you seek to please Allah, you get respect. Even if people don't like you. Who cares if people don't like you? I don't care if anyone likes me. If you give me the respect that I deserve as a human being and as a Muslim and as a man, that's all I need. The only people I care about liking me is my family. And if they don't like me, then we got a problem, then you should need to fix some things. But who cares if the people don't like you, if they think you're crazy, if they think you got a bag on your head? Who cares? Let them laugh. You know why? You know why we should let them laugh? And how many of you have ever heard the, 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 the phrase, laugh now, cry later? Laugh now, cry later. That's for them. That's for them. And I even had this, not long ago, I had a debate with a pastor and a couple of non-Muslims and atheists in New Jersey. And they were talking about why would any one guy jumped up and said, why would anyone want to be a Muslim? Why would anyone want to be a Muslim? You guys have the worst way, worst way of life. You're backwards. Not only that, but nobody likes you guys. Why would I want to enter a way of life where now every time I go to the airport, I'm going to be harassed. Every time I go to the airport, they're going to put me in this special line and through these x-ray machines and all this and that. I might get locked up, I might get this, I'm going to get scrutinized, I might get beat, I might get spit at. Why? Why would I do that? Tell me one good reason I can do that. I said, I'm going to tell you why. And I said, this is for everyone. I'll tell you why. Because maybe you look at us now. You might look at the Muslims now when they're in the airport and they're in this separate line being harassed. You might see the Muslims being crowded up and thrown into prisons and into detention facilities, refugee camps. You might see the Muslims getting oppressed all over the world. You might do that. I said, but I swear to you by the one who created the heavens and the earth, on the day of judgment, you will wish that for five minutes you would have been in that line in the airport. You will wish in the next life that for one moment you had stood in the footsteps of one of those Muslims who had been oppressed. For one moment, you will wish that you were the worst oppressed Muslim on the planet rather than the situation that will be facing you when you stand before your Creator. So you can laugh at us now. You can make fun of us now all you want. The day the real laughter will come is the day that we enter into Jannah and we leave you behind. If you want to be serious about it. That's the reality of the matter. Is that what I have gives me that type of answer. Laugh now, go ahead and laugh. Even if I tell you what this man is really about, you want to laugh at me, you want to mock at me, go ahead. I'll actually sit down and let you finish. Because I'm going to have my day. The believers will have our day. When they will wish that they were sitting on our side. When they will beg Allah. Oh Allah, send me back to the world for five minutes. I'll be like them. I'll get in that line. I'll let them harass me. I'll let them spit at me. I'll let them snatch my scarf off my head. I'll let them put me in a refugee camp, oppress me, put me in Guantanamo Bay. They can put me wherever where they want to put me, as long as I can stand with them today. And Allah will say, it's too late. You should have done that then. You should have done it then. This is the reality of the situation, brothers. This is what you have. This is the gift that Allah has given you. It's not worth anything that anyone else can give you. It's not worth selling your dignity for. It's not worth trying to please and look fashionable and fly and 
Who cares about that? Who cares about that? The only thing I care about is what side I'm going to be standing on on the day of judgment. Let them do what they want to do, brothers and sisters. Sisters, let them make fun of you because I know you stick out more than anybody else. Let them go ahead and make fun of you. When they laugh at you, laugh inside. Just smile inside, knowing that one day, the only ones that are going to be laughing on the day of judgment, the only people that are going to be laughing is going to be the laughter of the people of Jannah. That's it. And that's all that really matters. Everything else is just garbage, they say. It's just peanuts. And that's not what we want. We want what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for the believers. Things that an eye has never seen, nor an ear ever heard, nor has a mind ever imagined. So Allah has given you, brothers, and especially you sisters, a beautiful gift in the way that He has created you. Protect it. Keep it guarded. Keep it away from these young men. I love you brothers for the sake of Allah, but sisters, keep it away from them. They can't handle it. I know they can't. I'm telling you from personally, we can't handle it. We can't handle it. So guard it and make us work for it. And the brother that works for it and is reasonable for it, then decide whom you want to give it to you for the rest of your life. Get married to him. And then let your relationship be, please, be pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only thing that will come out of that is good. And that's what we need from this ummah right now. أقول كذا هذا واستغفر الله لكم فاستغفره إن هو غفر رحيم. Like I said, a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Um, this was a very very powerful message. Um, I'm actually um, what shocked me is him saying um, let them grab your scarves are people rude enough to actually take off someone's scarf why if you don't like something look the other side stop doing things that you don't understand let someone wear that hijab with that with pride stop telling them it's wrong you know and for what Ever else people suffer for in this world I mean there's always an end goal at the end of the day as long as you're doing the right things as long as uh, you're following the rules of whatever it is that you're doing at that particular time and you stick by God God always comes through you know uh, let this world be as rude as it wants to be mean as it wants to be but um, don't ever let go of your dream to enter heaven if it's heaven that you want to enter don't ever bow down to the bad deeds of this world and turn you away from god and just have the faith keep the faith share the faith and surround your people with people that actually appreciate you don't um focus on the oppressions of this world at the end of the day, we're in this world to be to pass through all sorts of um, tests, all sorts all sorts of calamities, and we have to be strong enough to believe that there's a better world at the end of the day. There's a better something waiting for me, despite what I'm going through. Just don't never lose faith. That's the biggest thing. Never lose faith. And for those that can protect those that are being oppressed in whatsoever way, protect your friends. They don't have to be your friends, but humanity requires us to be our brother's keepers. Not just our biological brothers or sisters, but everyone around us. And I love the message she has for the women at the end of the day. Work that, make them work. My words are not coming on. Make these people work for it if they want you. That's nice coming from the man you don't have to say yes to everyone that comes to you evaluate some of these men just don't accept anything for the sake of accepting or too precious as human beings as women and um let's flourish in the fact that we have power to say not something and yeah so if there's anything that you guys would have loved to for me to speak about that i haven't touched on Feel free to comment down below and we can speak about it also give your opinions down below i will really really appreciate if there's anything you want me to react to drop the name or the link down below and i will really appreciate and react to it 
again a big shout out to the person that suggested this make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video